We're gonna be doing some egg cutting here today, so stay tuned to Muscle Serpents University. Dave Palumbo here with Palumbo's Pythons and Boas, and we're here for another installment of Muscle Serpents University. And guys, we're gonna be doing some egg cutting here today. My first clutch of 2016 was late on April 18th, and it was snowball to snowball. Now, what you might ask is a snowball? Well, I'm gonna tell you. It's an albino combined with an azanthic gene. Uh, both recessive, so it's a double recessive, and I bred a pure snowball to a pure snowball. Now, what does the azanthic gene do? A lot of people really are not that sure of that. Well, azanthic takes all the yellow out of the uh, snake, and the albino gene takes all the black out of it. So when you take the black and the yellow out, you're left with almost a white snake, thus the term snowball. Now, there's more than one line of azanthic gene, and they're not compatible. There's actually three. Uh, there's the VPI, which is very well known, the Jolif line, and then the snake keeper line, or TSK line, which is what we're using here today. I really like that line a lot. Um, I know everyone uses, a lot of people use VPI, but I think the TSK line is awesome. And, uh, you know, theoretically, we breed double recessive, double recessive, we should get all snowballs. Now, that's genetically what should happen, but unfortunately, in the world of ball pythons, wacky things happen. So let's see what we're gonna do. Let's take a look at our egg clutch here. Uh, we're gonna take the top off it. Uh, as you can see, these eggs are really, really puckered in, uh, which means they're about to ready to hatch, probably. Um, I could wait and see if they pip on their own, but I really don't like to take a chance in case they suffocate inside the egg. As you can see, uh, you know, we're at day 57 here. Usually 58 to 60 days is when these things hatch. So let's let's take our first egg and see what happens here. These eggs are stuck together. I never un unstuck them because I didn't want to take any chances. Let's move these outside here. So we can kind of take a look. Maybe we'll keep it on the black here. When the eggs start to get like all puckered in like that, that usually means that they're about ready to hatch. Maybe we should keep this here so we don't ruin my table. Okay, key is to kind of key. You don't want to cut the embryo in there, so or the snake in there. So you want to kind of pick it up. This unfortunately, this blade I'm using is not that sharp. Well, there we go. We got a snowball in there. That's what we expect to see. I don't know if you guys can take a look in there. It's all white. There we go. It's a nice little snake. That's good. That's one snowball. Let's get the next egg out here. Right. It actually makes it a little easier being dehydrated because it kind of holds the side of the egg up and it's easy. You don't want to cut your hand here. Although probably already did it. I think I gotta get a scissor next time. Or a sharp blade. There we go. Let's take a peek in there. Yep, there we go. There's another. Let's just open this up a little bit more. Did I see another snowball in there. Once again, it's kind of a little anticlimactic because we're expecting to see all snowballs. And there's another snowball right there. All white snake. Beautiful. Let's grab another one here. Okay. Now, usually you watch these videos and you're like, oh, what is he going to get in that video? Maybe he's going to get a banana, maybe he's going to get this, maybe he's going to get that. And we're just probably going to get all snowballs. That's what we're expecting. But if we don't, this will be a, this video will have a great ending, that's for sure. Oh, there's another snowball. All white. Beautiful. Beautiful. We love it. We love the snowballs. And I know you guys out there are probably saying, man, how do I get one of those snowballs? Well, once they, we get them out, once they come out of the egg and they shed and they eat a couple meals, I'll have them up for sale on my Facebook page, Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. So you guys can check it out there. We'll have pictures. We'll sex them. We'll see how many males and females we got. Oh, there's another snowball. Very anticlimactic. I'm into, into high drama, and this is not too much high drama. A lot of yolk. A lot of yolk still in these. Good. It means they're pretty well hydrated. All right. Now we got to play a little separation game here. Obviously we're not, we don't want to rip them, but it's not going to be the end of the world because these things are going to be out of these eggs pretty soon. Anyway, this is just a temporary. Okay. 
I see some of you guys on on, on, on YouTube videos, and you, you take forever to cut the eggs. I get an, I have a nervous breakdown when I'm watching you guys. I'm a little quicker. And as you can see, another snowball. So we are one, two, three, four, five snowballs out of seven eggs. We should, we really theoretically should be seven for seven. Let's see. This is a good good clutch. I'm very happy I did this. I really love the snowballs. My, the, the inkling now is how do I prevent myself from keeping back all these snakes because they're so cute. I'm gonna want them all. There's another snowball. You peek in there. Okay. And we got one more, which if I was a betting man, I would bet on the snowball. I was a betting man and I'm not really a betting man, but on this one, this is pretty much a sure thing. The amazing thing is that we got seven eggs. I think we're gonna have seven living baby snakes. And there's another snowball. So, as you can see, recessive genetics don't lie. You breed a double recessive to a double recessive. Luckily, they were both TSK. That's what I was nervous about. I gotta tell you guys, I was a little nervous because you know, you buy, I bought the two snakes from two different people. They both claimed they were TSK Xanthics. I had to believe them. And luckily we have a very good industry with a lot of people with reputable reputations. I try to buy from people that have a reputable, um, I guess you could say following online. They're known for telling the truth. That's what I'm about to. And luckily it paid off TSK Xanthic to TSK Xanthic, both albino. We got all slums. So guys, stay tuned. Probably over the next week or two, we'll get these things to shed out. They're gonna probably come out of the egg. We'll get a couple meals in them, and then we'll put them up for sale. I don't know how many I will have for sale. Uh, if they're males or females, that is gonna be determined. Uh, we have a lot more clutches hatching. Stay tuned for more episodes of Muscle Serpents University. I'm Dave Palumbo with Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. Be sure to click subscribe below if you like these videos.